I look crazy, I know. <laughs> uh, it's wash day. And like the title says, we're gonna be doing a wash day with all new products. The only products that I'm gonna use that you've seen me use before is like my finishing products. So like, oh my God. <laughs> hairspray <laughs> and more hairspray. Those will both be linked down below. Everything I use today will be linked down below. But I bought this box off of Sephora. I think it's still available. I hope it's still available by the time I post this video. But this is Sephora's favorites, hottest in hair care. Um, they do these boxes pretty frequently, I feel like. Like I've seen it like with perfume. I've seen it with makeup. Okay, so there are two extra products that I wanted to share that I got in the hol or not the holiday, but the new Sephora birthday kit. So I, my birthday just passed on the 11th. <laughs> 31 um and i picked the way set um so it came with a detox shampoo and then it also came with a leave-in conditioner um i thought it came with like a conditioner because i was like oh yes i can try the shampoo the conditioner and the leave-in and try the full weight system and i was going to give you guys a full review i think i'm going to save these two and do that in another video and try like all the white products but i did want to show you that i got these at my birthday little gift. i don't i only have one shampoo here so i guess this is the one i'm gonna be using this is the vegamore shampoo um i don't think i'm gonna use the vegamore conditioner i'm not using the k18 i think i definitely want to use the crown of fair oil i'm not gonna use the color wow because i already know what i feel about it i love it i'm just happy i have another like backup this is the only leave-in conditioner i got so i'm gonna use this one and then i'm trying to decide between these two like masks you guys know i like to use masks as like my conditioners i'm gonna go with this one so I just feel like this is a safer choice. I don't know. So Vegamore shampoo, which I feel like I'm probably gonna use this whole thing. I use a lot of shampoo when I wash my hair. The Day Moisture Mask, Ceremonia Leave-In Conditioner, and then the Crown of Hair Oil. So we're back. I washed my hair. I used every last drop of this. And I did end up going back in with some of my Hask Tea Tree Oil and Rosemary Shampoo told you guys about this plenty of times now the only reason i went in with the my usual shampoo is because i didn't have enough of this um i thought like this was a good shampoo it smelled good my hair didn't feel rough i just didn't get enough i just there just wasn't enough in here do i like it better than the hask tea tree oil shampoo um the only reason why i'm really 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 tied to that shampoo right now is because i feel like it does wonders for my scalp we're gonna go ahead and put our conditioner in for those of you that are new here to my channel yes i do have a relaxer i don't need you to tell me that my curls are um non-existent not healthy looking girls because i made them look that way <laughs> i put a relaxer in my hair girl um and for you those of you that are new welcome now we're going in with the day monsoon moisture mask um it says apply to freshly shampooed hair let sit for 10 minutes or longer depending on hair texture and damage then rinse thoroughly there are no sulfates parabens whatever eights or synthetic colors um it smells nice it doesn't have any instructions on here so i'm just gonna take about that much and even taking that much, there's still a decent amount in here. Like if I was to use this every time I did my hair, I feel like I would have like maybe, I don't know, four, maybe five washes in here. And I hope this is still av available. I'll try to get this video up fairly soon from the time that I film it. So if you guys are interested in it, you can buy it. Oh, this is very thick. Very thick. Okay. And I'm focusing it on the ends of my hair. I'm not gonna let this sit very long because this is the type of feeling where I feel like it could be a problem if you let it sit too long. It could get like, like that pasty type of feel. So I'm gonna just let this sit for, I don't know, five-ish minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out. So we rinse off the conditioner. I have to say, um, I don't know. 
it didn't like wow me it's a very thick conditioner um, much thicker than you guys know like my Pantene rescue shots that I talk about a lot um, much thicker than a lot of the other like moisture or like conditioning masks and things that I've used before so just keep that in mind like if thicker products don't get you the results you want or you don't use them as often just keep that in mind when using this so this is the ceremonia guava leave-in conditioner I'm okay yes it's open I'm only going to use a tiny bit on each side uh, and it doesn't have this it's not like a spray kind like I'm used to literally that much that feels about right rip in oh that smells so good it smells really nice little dot and we're going to blow dry and i'll tell you how my hair feels after i've done Okay, so hair is all blow dried. I don't feel anything on it. Yeah, usually this is around the time I apply my Verve Ghost Oil. Oh, verdict on this, she's nice. I mean, it's not a spray. Like, I usually like my leave-in conditioners to be a spray. Um, but you saw I used a tiny, tiny bit for each side of my head, and I felt that did the job. So, she's a go, she's good. So far, we're doing good all right so next we're going to use the crown affair oil it says it's a lightweight hydrating serum for every texture a five ingredient formula for extra softness and shine without adding weight it says to use this on damp hair no i'm going to use this on my dry hair like i use my verb ghost oil and it says use one drop for short hair and up to three for long three thick mane so i'm just going to use one drop i always rub oil until it's warm in my hand feels like it's nothing and make sure it gets on the ends i love the way that smells too this smells really nice this is definitely going in my travel bag I keep like a little bag of toiletries and stuff packed just like always so whenever I'm packing for anything I just throw it in there let's go ahead and straighten our hair I'm doing the same thing I always do um, I'll fast forward it we're gonna cut on a little music um, for my flat iron today I'm gonna use the croc flat iron giving my GHD a little rest
Okay, y'all, so I am just gonna say, oh, what something that I used made my like dryness on my scalp flake up. I don't know if y'all can see that, but something here because like there there's been times where like my scalp is dry and you know it's just you know a little flaky but this is like it's on another level and i i can't tell you what it is because i use so many new products that's typically why <laughs> when i do use new products most of the time i just use one new product and try to keep everything else the same so that if something does go awry i can kind of pinpoint what it is that's causing it so i mean it's not the end of the world but i, I haven't had it be flaky like this like so flaky in such a long time and it usually just means like something that i used was really drying on my scalp i don't want to pinpoint the shampoo but I will say that's the only product that was really on my scalp. all done with the hair um i got most of like the flaky bits out and i feel like i didn't explain it well enough it's not all over my head it's usually just like this part of my head like the front portion that gets like flaky and dry so while i leave my hair pinned up i'm just going to talk through like whether i think this box is worth it if you're looking for just like new products to try definitely think it's worth the 35 dollars because i believe i feel like this product in itself is like 30 or so dollars so you're getting like a full size of this product you get this color wow which i love you get this little k18 sample which um i feel like it's a good reasonable price for it. you get two masks that have like a good amount of product in it um you get a shampoo and conditioner you get two hair oils now what i will say is this oil is a little chini chini and this one is like a lot bigger i wish the crown oil was like the same size as this you get a leave-in conditioner um you get a regular conditioner the only thing i wish that this box had was more shampoo like i would have like foregone like one of these oils to have like another shampoo in this box. And then I also feel like the other thing that they're missing too is a little hairspray. A little hairspray in here would have been clutch. And I feel like my hair is set long enough, so let's go ahead and take it out. We're gonna brush it out, see what kind of results we're working with. and we're just gonna brush our hair out if you want like a more in-depth tutorial on how i do this specific type of style check down the description the description bar below i'll leave the link for it down there and i'm just using the paul mitchell and then for added shine just going in with the verb ghost dry oil That's how our hair turned out. Definitely would say go pick up this box if you um, 
looking to try some new products because there are definitely some heavy hitters in here that I think are worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.